yeah, very important tour for, for Bangladesh in terms of their progression. You know, even though some of them have played international cricket, they're still very young in terms of the number of games they've played at international level. So, you know, against a, a big country like India, this is a great opportunity for them to um, a expose themselves to conditions outside of Bangladesh and to gain more experience and hopefully um, to get some success. Yeah, it's been, been uh, really enjoyable for, for me since I've been in Bangladesh. Um, obviously, you've mentioned Rubel and Tuscan. Uh, Mashrafi, obviously very uh, experienced uh, campaigner who's been with us. Uh, we've had Mustafi Zou who's come on, on the scene and, and, and make an, made a, a very big impression uh, right from the outset. We've got people like Shafiul, Alamin, uh, Shoid. So a good group of, of guys and we've got some really good under-19s who hopefully people will see in the under-19 World Cup uh, coming through. So exciting times ahead for Bangladesh cricket in terms of the fast bowlers that they have uh, you know, coming through the system. Uh, actually the communication has been the easy part. The difficult part is obviously getting getting enough uh, pace bowlers to play in the side, you know, because Bangladesh, uh, the wickets are very slow. Uh, you know, a lot of the matches you play sometimes only two paces, uh, maybe three. Uh, so it's obviously difficult because opportunities for these guys are, are, are very are few and far between. Um, so it's been enjoyable that we've actually got to a stage where we've been playing more than, uh, you know, more than three uh, paces in, in, in a couple of international games in Bangladesh. So, uh, I've enjoyed that, but in terms of, of them being able to communicate and learning, uh, I've really enjoyed it. The guys have been responsive. Uh, I think they've progressed a lot in, in, uh, in, in the last year, and uh, that's down to their own attitude and commitment to want to you know, improve and, and to, to compete at the highest level. Yeah, but uh, for us, uh, obviously, we, we're not looking at it as a, as a warm-up. We're looking at it as, as preparation, and, and for us, it's about winning and continuing that winning culture. I think uh, the confidence you, you get from winning, irrespective of, of how experienced or inexperienced the side is, is, is good. And for us, if we can take a bit of that confidence going into an Australian series, it'll be really good for us. Obviously. Uh, there's, there's a few guys who, who obviously wanted to make an impression and show that they're ready to take on the Aussies and, and play in the Bangladesh Test team. And Test cricket for Bangladesh, uh, whilst we've performed well in one-day cricket, we've still got a lot of big strides to make in the Test arena and uh, you know, a tour like this uh, is is important uh, step for Bangladesh cricket in, in its continued learning curve uh, you know, for all three formats of the game. Look, I think uh, Bangladesh, it's, I think everyone knows Bangladesh in Bangladesh are a tough, tough, uh, tough team to beat. Um, and I think despite Australia coming, it's no different. And, and they've got a few inexperienced players. Uh, so they'll be relying pretty heavily on, on their, their more senior players like Smith um, and one or two others. Uh, so for us, it's an opportunity uh, to try and, um, you know, to try and, uh, I think, I think if they don't play their best cricket and we play to our potential, I think we're capable of beating Australia, especially in our conditions. So uh, I think it's, it's a good opportunity for Bangladesh cricket to, to show the improvement, not just in one-day cricket, but in test cricket. <laughs>